Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So this is a Metrics ASVAB prep book. Looks like we're looking at mathematical knowledge. Let's go ahead and dive right in. It says a rectangle has a width of 7 centimeters and a length of 9 centimeters. What is the perimeter? And notice the answers are also in centimeters. So in this case, remember what's perimeter? Perimeter is the length all the way around the item. So we're looking at 7 by 9. And remember, that means that this guy is 7 and this guy up here is 9. So if I want to find the full answer here, we have to add all four of these together. It's often forgotten that, you know, we have two other ones still on the other sides. So let's go ahead and add this up. We have 7 plus 7 is 14. And then if we add another 9 to that, then that's going to end up taking us to 23. And if we add another 9 to that, it's going to end up taking us up to 32, which means our final answer here should be B, 32 centimeters. Number 2 says to solve this inequality for the letter Q. Now, it's written right here, but I rewrote it down here just to keep it a little bit more centered for the video. Um, so let's take a look here. I see negatives right off the bat, so we are going to solve this using algebra, but I'm going to move the negatives to the other side first because I like everything to be nice and positive and pretty. So first things first, let's add the 30 to both sides to cancel out that 30 over here, giving me that we have negative 3Q uh, plus... 30 plus 12 is going to give me 42, greater than or equal to 4Q. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with that negative 3Q, so add 3Q to both sides. And that's going to cancel these out over here, giving us that 42 is greater than or equal to 7Q. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do divide both sides by 7. And that's going to end up giving me 6 is greater than or equal to Q. Now here's the deal, when do you switch the sign? You only switch the direction of this sign in the middle if you are dealing with dividing or multiplying by negative numbers. Now we divided by a positive number, so we don't have to worry about that here. So our final answer here is that six is bigger than or equal to Q. So when I'm looking through these options, which one says six is the larger one, meaning the open side is facing that, it looks like our answer here is D. I'm not going to waste your time. This is going to be a quick one. Sometimes they're just checking your basic algebra skills, seeing if you know some of the fundamentals. Now, to be honest, as a teacher, I do see kids that just never have learned this. Either they didn't go to school as much as they should have or whatnot then they would not recognize that the opposite of subtraction is adding and therefore not be able to solve this. So just remember, anytime you are dealing with this type of situation, you are just doing the opposite operation to get the x by itself. So in this case, we are subtracting, so the opposite would be adding, and anything you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So in this case, we're going to add 6 to both sides. Now when we add the 6 over here, it cancels that out. And then over here, we just do 0 plus 6 as normal. So we know that that is equal to 6. So that leaves us with x equal to 6. Now, sometimes there's more steps than this. But in this case, it is just a one-step problem, meaning that our final answer here is indeed 6. So we are looking at option C. So for number four on the ASVAB here with this little practice test, we're going to go ahead and do some plug and chug here. It says if x is negative three, calculate the value of the following expression. Now I wrote it again down here so that we can be a little bit more centered on here. But essentially what they're asking you to do is just take this negative three and plug it in every time you see an x to solve this equation. Equation. So the first thing I want to do is just plug in this number, and if I have an exponent, I'm going to go ahead and expand that out. So negative 3 to the third power. Well, that means I'm going to do negative 3 times negative 3, which would give me a positive 9, but I still need to multiply that by another negative 3, and we don't have a calculator here, so we got to do it all in our heads. So we're going to multiply by another negative 3, giving me negative 27. All right, so I have a negative 27. Now that still has to be multiplied by this three out front, but it's still gonna stay negative because that one doesn't have a negative. So now we're gonna have negative three times seven is 21, carry the two. Three times two is six, plus that two would give us eight. 
So this is going to be a negative 81. Now we're going to add here. Now we're working on this guy right here. So 3 times the negative 3 we're plugging in would give us a negative 9 plus 4. Well, negative 9 plus 4 is going to end up giving me a negative 5. And then last but not least over here, we have negative 2 times x squared. So this is negative 3 again. Negative 3 times negative 3 gives us a positive 9. 9 times the negative 2 is going to end up giving us negative 18. So we're looking at a fairly large negative number here. So right off the bat, looking at negative, 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 and this one being 81, I know we're going to be deep in the negative. So even without adding these all up, I can tell you our answer is going to end up being A, negative 104. If 3x minus 30 is equal to 45 minus 2x, what is the value of x? So this is solving a multi-step equation for algebra 1. So we need to get x by itself. So a lot of this is just moving things to different sides. I like to always try to move all of my terms with an x to one side and all of my terms without an x to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. Now remember, if you are multiplying, the opposite of doing that is dividing to move things to the other side. If you are subtracting, the opposite opposite is adding. And likewise, if you are dividing, the opposite is multiplying. And if you are adding, the opposite is subtraction. So let's go ahead and take a look here. First thing I'm going to do is just rewrite right here so we have a bit more space. Now, I'm going to, like I said, get all of my x terms to the same side. Now, because this is all one term, we can move it together. So I'm going to add this 2x to both sides, and that's going to end up canceling it out over here, leaving me with 5x minus 30 over here equal to 45. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and move this 30 to the other side to get the x term by itself. So we're adding 30 to both sides. That's going to give me 5x is equal to 75. Then we are multiplying here, although it doesn't say it, so 5 times x. So the opposite of that is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So what is 75 divided by 5? Well, I know that 50 divided by 5 is 10. And then I still have 25 left, so 25 divided by 5 is another 5. So 10 plus that 5 is going to end up giving me 15. That means that in this case, these cancel out, and I'm left with x equals 15. So it looks like our answer today is C. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ABVAP.